theorem if f of t is a periodic function of period t then laplace of f of t is equal to you have to prove that this part right hand side 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus st integration of 0 to t e to the power minus st f of t with respect to t okay now solution now this is very simple so we have by the definition using laplace transform definition okay now definition is laplace of f of t is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt okay and l f of t is equal to now this is a definition using this definition integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt and this is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus s u f of u with respect to u now change the variable this is t is equal to 0 to infinity and this one is u is equal to 0 to infinity with respect to u okay and this is equal to integration of u is equal to 0 to capital T e raised to minus s u f of u du plus now 0 to infinity is split part wise okay this is first term second term is u is equal to t to 2t e raised to minus s u f of u du plus so on 0 to t t to 2 to 2t to 3t 3t to 4t and so on is continue okay plus integration of n t u is equal to n t to n plus 1 into t e raised to minus s u f of u sorry this is f of u du plus so on now 0 to 0 to infinity 0 to t t to 2t up to infinity okay infinity terms now this terms write in a summation write in a summation means lab summation n is equal to 0 to infinity integration of n t u is equal to n t and u is equal to n plus 1 into t e to the power minus s u f of u du this is laplace of f of t put n is equal to 0 this is 0 put n is equal to 0 only t is remaining 0 to t put n is equal to 1 t put n is equal to 1 1 plus 1 2 t means first term second term third term and so on so write in a summation now this is called this is equation number 1 ok now now you put u v means u is equal to t plus n t now differentiate this one du is equal to dt this is constant only dt remaining now if take lower limit u is equal to nt if u is equal to nt put u is equal to nt then nt is equal to t plus nt sorry this is capital T this is u is equal to capital T put u is equal to nt both side nt nt cancel now therefore t is equal to 0 next take upper limit u is equal to n plus 1 into t then put u is equal to n plus 1 into n, uh, n plus 1 into t open it this is a n t plus t is equal to right hand side t plus n t both side n t and t cancel only remaining t is equal to capital T okay the one more f of u function is there f of u now f of u is equal to sorry let's take f of u and f of u is equal to u means what t plus n t okay t plus n t and this is equal to f of t only only small f of t by the periodic property now periodic this is a property property become like this f of u is equal to u means f of t plus nt and this part is become f of t now therefore laplace of f of t is equal to 
summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. Now these result using in equation number 1. Integration of this is t is equal to t is 0 to t. t is equal to 0 to t is equal to capital T. And f of u means what? f of t. Okay. And uh, e to the power minus s u. e raised to minus s u. u means what? Is a t plus n t. u means t plus n t. Into f of u. f of u is a into f of t. f of t. And du. du means dt. And this integration is with, with respect to t. Remaining variables are constant. Take outside. Summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. Now constant terms or uh, variables are e raised to minus s n t. Minus s n t. Is outside. And t is equal to 0 to t. Inside is e raised to minus s t only. e raised to minus s t. And f of t dt. Okay. Now, this is equation number 2. Now, can take this only outside the part, outside integral, outside part. But, taking this only this part, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity, e raised to minus s n t is equal to, can you, you can write like this, summation n to infinity, e raised to minus s t, whole rest to n okay now put n is equal to 0 1 2 3 put n is equal to 0 means e raised to 0 is 1 put n is equal to 1 means e raised to minus s t put n is equal to 2 plus e raised to minus s t whole square this is only 1 and this is only square and e raised to minus s t whole cube plus so on okay now Now, putting r is equal to e raised to minus s t, this series, this series involved, you know the geometric series, this series involved is a geometrical, geometric series, this is a geometric series, okay, this series is a geometric series of the form is of the form 1 plus r plus r square plus and so on whose sum to infinity whose sum to infinity is now to be is now to be 1 upon 1 minus r okay but where r is less than 1 hence Hence, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. Now this part. e raised to minus s t. e raised to minus s n t is equal to. After we get 1 upon 1 minus r. r means what? e raised to minus s t. This is 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus s t. This is equation number 2. Uh, sorry, 3. Now equation number 3. Substitute in equation number 2. This part summation part now using equation number 3 in equation number 2 right hand side in equation number 2 now Laplace of f of t is equal to now this part is become 1 upon 1 minus e raised to minus st and this remaining part as it is t is equal to 0 to t e raised to minus st f of t dt now this is a required periodic property 